in today's session we are going to discuss on a topic role of civil engineer in construction activity myself bipin patil assistant professor department of civil engineering walchand institute of technology solapur so my dear friends these are the learning outcomes for today's session so at the end of this particular session student will be able to explain the role of civil engineer in construction industry so basically different sectors are present in that in industry so by referring this particular sectors we are going to discuss the role of civil engineer see my dear friends basically we are going to focus on these parameters first one is the planner second one the designer contractor consultant builder project engineer and the last one that is the very important arbitrator first one planner focus on this particular feature sample of planning work basically three parameters we are going to consider first one simple plan for residential building plan for commercial building and third one industrial building is there different sectors are there so the important thing first one planner the main role of civil engineer is to first prepare a line plan then if the party third party owner is satisfied then prepare a develop plan and then proceed on the further steps so see here the role of a construction planner is to develop a plan to complete a construction project based on first one budget means approximate cost of this particular work second one work schedule which type of work schedule is there types of materials used then different points are present in that start from construction to the end the furniture painting electric work then the available resources first you just try to prepare a plan then by referring this particular plan is it satisfy by third party or owner identify it then your next step you just go ahead so consider next step and proceed on next point next one designer <clears throat> after preparing a plan the second step is present that is nothing but the designer so in designer steel design is different approximate cost is different number of bricks you required number of bags of cement you required each and all things okay in short we called as the valuation and designing these two points you just try to identify a designer is an organization or individual means here if the organization is present so whole assembly is present in that in that assembly different uh, sectors are present in that particular sector evaluator is there steel designer is different architectural is different so different views are there designer you identify each and all things first basically so organization is present and individual one person is also present in that particular committee so whose business involves preparing or modifying designs for construction project residential building is present sometimes your whole work is present sometimes the assembly is present sometimes you just consider the whole project is present apartment is there resort is there so the first step is present that is the designing so artificial design then you just consider the final design is present artificial design means in plan in house you just prepare a plan and design uh, by using your different softwares manually you just identify this particular works prepare the artificial view of this particular building and according to that designing work you just try to finish it so in designing easily can identify the wettages 
for different resources means for sand how much sand you require bags of cement you require steel how much it is so easily you can identify the quantity and the number of uh, bars number of schedules for each and all stories according to that easily you can identify it here third one the consultant is there what is the meaning of this particular consultant a consulting civil engineer is simply an independent independent professional engineer who performs well detailed engineering services for a client based on agreed sum of money means consultant is nothing but third party is also present in that so in that you just observe what is the work is present that work you just identified for that you just identify the approximate cost and if the approximate cost is valid means the third party is approve this particular cost so then and then uh, will identify some money for that means the caution money is there for this particular work and then the consultant party or consultant person he just proceed the work he must be registered to practice as a professional engineer in the state or country where he resides means you just observe here the consultant engineer is connected to the government means must authorized person is there and from that particular authorized person number of sectors are present in that architecture is just steel designer is different so on so and then he just identify the work the identified work he just proceed by considering the particular task so consultant engineer plays most important role in your in house activity next one contractor planning is over designing is over now consultant engineer he just identify which type of material you are going to utilize it the approximate cost is present which type of material you are using for different sectors now the role of contractor is there contractor it plays the most important role so your plan is over how to execute this particular plan how to supervise it then inspect it all these particular points are covered by this particular contract generally a contractor is responsible to plan execute supervise it inspect and direct a building construction project start to finish without any disturbance so if i start this particular project where you observe this particular picture from start to finish each and all things are observed by using this particular contract contractor plays most important role now for you just observe here for plastering work for your pointing work for your rcc work for steel work for slab casting each and all detail schedule designer and the consultant engineer it provides and according to this contractor execute the works the contractor ensures that the project complies with all the specification as outlined in the contract documents means you just observe in contract documents they mention for so and so this particular column we required number of steels number of uh, then the wattage of this particular steel the bar diameter they have mentioned there according to that use the specification and then and then you just try to prepare it each and all things supervised by this particular contractor so planner designer consultant is equal to contractor so the role of this particular contractor is tremendous one in this particular role of civil engineering next one you just observe here contractor also plays most important role whatever your work task is there work breakdown structure is present now so during this particular period you have to complete your this particular work so contractor also observe work breakdown structure next one builder civil engineer can play a role of builder by constructing the buildings and selling the same now you just observe prepare a plan design it provide architectural view ornamental view surveying work is present in that each and all things you just carry out after that whatever the project is running now after completion of this particular project building apartment the builder play most important role construct the building and sell it so the role of builder is also very important in that and here also you just observe different sectors are present start from planner 
then consultant, then designer, surveyor, and last one contractor is also present in that. Then the project engineer. Suppose we are going to construct one project, our apartment or residential building or commercial building, row houses are present in that. So in that we require project engineer. Start from your work to end of this particular work, we require one engineer. The name of that particular engineer is nothing but your project engineer is there. Civil engineer can also play a role of project engineer by successfully completing the scheme from start to finish in a specific period. So to start this particular work and to end this particular work, we required one engineer and that engineer is nothing but your project engineer. He also or she also play most important role during the construction activities. Next one arbitrator. From start to end, you just observe start to end means planning, designing, executing the work, then consulting. So start to end in different parties, it may be uh, still designer is there, architectural is there, third party is present. So some uh, misunderstandings are present in that. So that misunderstanding also overcome by our engineer. Civil engineer can play a role of arbitrator by solving the dispute between two parties. So by referring this particular all these activities, civil engineer play most important or vital role between each and all things. So my dear friends, now you just try to pause this particular video and try to give the answer of these particular questions. These are the answers of these particular questions. To prepare these particular videos, I refer uh, these particular references. Thank you.